Hello everyone and greetings from Sri Lanka. Today I would like to briefly introduce our TRANSFORM programme. TRANSFORM, it's a word that gets used quite a lot and for us here in Sri Lanka we are looking at it through four different filters. Firstly, TRANSFORM is our large-scale education programme which brings together all of our work across English, the wider education portfolio of schools and higher education, and new for Sri Lanka, skills. The overarching aim of TRANSFORM is to support the government of Sri Lanka in its ambition for education reform. Um, more specifically, to work on making sure that young people have access to learning opportunities that are provided by a fit for purpose and relevant education system and that these learning opportunities will allow young people to to do a number of things to reach their to reach their personal potential fulfill their aspirations and their ambition and also contribute to sri lanka's economic and social development so, what is TRANSFORM as a programme? There are three main uh, thematic areas, underpinned by two further areas. The first one is professionalisation, and this is probably the area many of us are most familiar with. We work with teacher educators, we work on leadership, and we do this across uh, secondary education and higher education. So, the professionalisation strand, supporting institutions, build the, their capacity and also build the capacity of individual professionals who work in the field of education. The second area is about raising standards, quality assurance. So here we're looking at issues such as professional standards for teachers, both in secondary and higher education, qualifications frameworks, the role of inspection and new for us here in Sri Lanka, looking at skills development systems. So overall, work we do in collaboration with uh, government on raising standards of education and going back to that idea of education being fit for purpose and relevant. So fit for purpose and relevant for what? And that comes to our third results area, which starts to address the question of, and so what? Who is this for? And this is where we look much more at the impact on young people and the transition they make from education into employment, whether it's from secondary education into employment or from secondary education into higher education into employment. Now obviously we have an online offer that looks at areas such as skills for employability but we're looking at it through a slightly more systemic filter such as the professionalisation of careers guidance, making sure it is fit for purpose and bringing in the industry perspective um, and also looking at ensuring that higher education for example is linked very clearly to the world of work post-education. The underpinning areas are research, evaluation and learning. In other words, everything we do has to be evidence-based and also contributes to the body of knowledge globally on education reform. And of course, strategic communications is a key part of our work, not only in terms of um, um, identity and ensuring uh, compliance with corporate branding, um, the PR aspect of our work, but also advocacy and influencing government on wider awareness raising among the, the public for career pathways and looking at the future that um, is in store for young people. So more of a social marketing aspect. Now, let's transform as a programme, but we're also transforming the way we work, both internally and externally. So the programme brings together all of our work in education. It also moves in some ways towards our society work, such as our work on strengthening reconciliation processes through language. And it also cuts across to our work in arts as we're focusing initially on the development of the digital creative industries. But we're also changing the way we work with government. Um, traditionally, we've enjoyed very strong relationships with the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Higher Education. We're expanding this to include the Ministry of Skills Development. But more interestingly, 
we're bringing ministries together in cross-ministerial collaboration. A recent example was a reflection day we hosted using open space technology. Bit of a shock for participants, no written agenda, no formal tea breaks, but the participants themselves identified those priorities that mattered to them, which, I'm very happy to say, reflect the priority areas we've identified in our programming. I think one of the major transformations is the way the government sees the British Council and the UK. Um, I've been in Sri Lanka for a year, and when I first came here, the usual request was, yes, Louise, this is lovely, but can't you just teach everybody on the island English? We could, but we, we like to think that we at the British Council, on behalf of the UK, can contribute much more to the issue of wider education reform. So while um, direct teaching does, uh, you know, I'm not in any way suggesting or diminishing the importance of that, I think in addition, we have developed a new relationship with the government. We are occupying a different space and we're being seen beyond being those, and this is a direct quotation, those lovely people who deliver training into being a strategic partner. And this, of course, we do on behalf of the entire UK constituency. So um, I feel we've had the confidence to create a space for ourselves and the UK and occupy that space with confidence. And I think that is an additional example of the transformation that comes under transform. And of course, here is the donut, <laughs> my personal favourite. Um, we have established a visual identity which we use in all our work across all of our education programming in collaboration with our, our main ministry partners. Um, the donut is, it is circular, it brings together, uh, it is a visual representation of our three results areas which are, are thematically oriented plus those two underpinning mechanisms, but it also is a visual illustration of how ministries are coming together in a very collaborative way to reach that overall objective of ensuring young people have access to quality, fit for purpose and relevant education. Um, the strap line for us says it all, Transform is about impacting young lives through quality education and we aim to achieve this through our programming, through our way of collaborating internally and externally, through bringing wider cross-ministerial collaboration in our partners, and through living the donut. Thank you.